Hey guys, what's going on? It's Magic. This is some TDM on Battlefield 4. I'm using the sniper class beasting on these kids on the Xbox One, of course, and I've recorded it with the Xbox One's DVR. Pretty decent quality, not the best, but it's really nice for what it is, of course. And I want to talk, I just want to talk about my thoughts on the Xbox One. But first off, the games I bought were Call of Duty Ghosts and, of course, Battlefield 4. And I must say, Battlefield 4 is fucking amazing. It blew my mind. It's really hard to find a server in it though, like with a with a decent amount of people in it. It's, they're just packed. But Call of Duty servers seem kind of dead. I don't know why. The only servers with a def decent amount of people in them seem to be the TDM servers, and I don't really like those ones too much. But if you want to, if you have an Xbox One and you want to play some COD or BS BF4 with me, I'm always down to. So yeah. Also, watch until the end. I may have another idea for my channel like I normally do. But back to my thoughts on the Xbox One. Starting with its controller, at first I didn't like it. It felt awkward in my hands. It didn't really feel right at first. It's new controller. But after a few hours of using it, I started. It, it started to feel comfortable, and I was like, "All right, all right, this this is pretty nice." So let's talk about the pros of the, of the controller first. The D-pad is greatly improved. It feels great, in my opinion. It doesn't feel like a another joystick like on the Xbox 360s. The thumbsticks are great, super responsive, along with the A, B, Y, X buttons and LT and RT. The weight of the controller, in my opinion, is great. Not too heavy, not too light. Uh, it, all that matters to me. Now for the cons, the left and right bumpers are somewhat hard to push down. It takes a bit more force to push them down than it did on the 360 controller. The thumbstick grips. Here's another con. The thumbstick grips. Dear God, my, my thumbs right now are raw from the grips. They could have made them a bit more smooth. And uh, yeah, they, they could have. It, 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 my thumbs are just raw. And the last con is they didn't include a fucking rechargeable battery. Seriously. It's it's the biggest con. What the fuck? Eight years. You can't include that with the damn controller, really? Honestly, I think Microsoft is partnered with Duracell. They're keeping them in business. It's so fucking annoying. But anyways, back to the console itself. It's huge as shit. I thought people were exaggerating, but no, it's big as fuck. It's the Godzilla of gaming consoles. But its design is sleek and it seems they designed it so there's a lot of room in the system which makes it really cool. I was playing it for 12 hours. Yeah, that's a long fucking time. And it wasn't even warm. It didn't even get hot. It was cool the whole damn time. But one thing I don't like about it is those damn touch sensitive buttons like the power button and shit and the eject button. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Some people have cats Microsoft. Like me, I have a cat but I keep my Xbox in a high place. Some people keep it a little lower. And if a cat's tail brushes across it, your shit's gonna turn off. Now with some of the software that's on the console itself, like the DVR, it's pretty cool but can only record up to 5 minutes. Not too long, not too short. I like the, I like the amount of time it gives you. A uh, cool thing about it is if you have to do something cool or like level up while playing, um, it records the last 30 seconds up until that point where you leveled up or did some cool shit. Which is pretty fucking neat in my opinion. Like I said before, the quality is good but not the best. And if you want to upload the clips, you upload them to SkyDrive using Upload Studio. But to use it, you have to have the Kinect plugged in. Which is kind of lame, but whatever. It's not the best editing software. It's like Windows Movie Maker. So, uh, it, it, it's alright. The interface is nice and smooth. It works best if you use Kinect, in my opinion. And the Kinect is super responsive. I've used it for about 30 minutes. It only misunderstood me uh, probably about two times, so that's good. Overall, the system is great. Just a few cons here and there. It works great. Starts up in less than three seconds for me. It's, it's amazing how fast it is. And um, the idea I had for my channel was that at least two times a month, I want to do a community thing when one person possibly sends some gameplay of them doing some crazy shit, going ham sandwich, <laughs> and I'll feature it on my channel. Um, yeah, I'll feature it on my channel, have the link to their channel and shit like that. But what are your thoughts on that? And I'm going to be starting um, the random loadout Mondays and regretful Thursdays. Not this week, but the week after so I can get everything so I won't have trouble and all that shit so I can get everything. Let me know what you think about that down in the terrible comment section. Also, comment, rate, subscribe, and tell your grandma. Peace.
Magic son, I'm in this bitch again, shaking the place up, making the ceiling split. Into the war zone with Call of Duty AKs. Run out on the battlefield and start shouting Mayday. Grenade explosions blow out your eardrums two times. Shrapnel flying, you feel a clean cut across your two eyes. Groundbreaking, ground making, everyone around shaking. Bullet shells burning, skin the landing on the cracked pavement. 